Hey everyone, here's a tutorial on how to add a background in Spark AR. If you're just starting off, then I recommend using the background template that Spark AR has already provided, which you can find on the starting screen. Here you can just go on this image texture, right click, and replace to whichever background photo you want. But let's say that you need to add it manually to a project as one of your last steps. Then here's how to do it. First, add in a rectangle and this will be our person layer, so let's rename it. Click Fill Width and Fill Height. Add a material for it. Rename it to Person Matte. And change the shader type to Flat because we don't want it to be affected from the lighting coming from the scene. For the texture, we want this to be showing the camera, so let's go to the camera section here. Click on the plus sign for texture extraction. And while we're here, we might as well also click add for the person segmentation since we're going to need it later. Back to the person material, change the texture to camera, then below check on the alpha and change it to person segmentation. What this is doing is it's basically getting the information from the camera texture, figuring out where the user is and only making that visible. I find that it's easier to use layers for filters with background, especially if you have a lot of other objects included that needs to be behind the person. So let's make a new layer for this by going to the person rectangle, layer, and add a new layer. Let's rename that to person on the layers tab. This layer below will be our background layer so we can rename that as well. So for our background, make another rectangle, rename this to background. And again, fill the width and fill the height. And make sure it's on the background layer that we want. Now again, make a material and rename this to background matte. And change the shader type to flat. On advanced render options, uncheck the use depth test and write to depth buffer so whenever you place other 3D objects, it's not going to be hidden behind the background. As for the background, you can either change it as a simple color or with an image texture which can either be a JPEG or PNG. So you can also have transparent sections of background if you need to. One last thing I want to mention is that including a segmentation to your filter may not work for some devices. So you should consider this if your main reason is to have your filter reach a wide range of audience. If you have any questions, comment down below, and if you found this helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more Spark AR tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.